Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you a quick haul today. I went to scrapbook.com and you might be familiar with them and their website and they actually have their headquarters here in Arizona. So you can actually go and pick up your order and I usually do that when I order from them. So I'm just going to get right to it here. They just started carrying Daniel Smith's watercolors and as a promotion they offered some samples of his watercolors and there were two different sheets available so with any order you could grab one of the sheets so I thought I would try out his watercolors I hear a lot about them and Definitely want to give these a try. So this one has Quinacridin Gold, Thalo Turquoise, French Ultramarine, Hunsa Yellow Lights, Quinacridin Coral, and a color called Moon Glow. So can't wait to try these out and see if I might want to buy some of his watercolors. Um, they are pretty high-end watercolors and um, so it's nice to have samples ahead of time and kind of get a sense of what colors you want before you buy. So this is how it comes. They usually give you this uh, packing slip. I think, let's see, part of this is for returns. Uh, I've never had to return anything there so and then just got this little customer appreciation $6 off 60 so that's very cool. And then <clears throat> I saw this on all the CHA creativation uh, videos that were put out. Uh, when they got to the Faber-Castell booth, I was really excited about this honey medium. And they did this little demo of it which I can link the video below. So basically, um, in a way this was two birds with one stone for me because I, I needed to stock up on gel medium and this looks like it's kind of a cross between decoupage and gel medium. Uh, when I saw it online, it definitely looked like the consistency of honey. So the um, comes in this box, and the retail price is twenty nine ninety nine, and then they had, I think, like ten percent off of Faber Castell, and. Um, like most websites, you can get a notification when it comes in stock. I knew it was um, coming out sometime in February. And so when I got the notification, I just decided to splurge and go for it because this has a lot of really cool stuff in it. And one of the things that really interested me was the silicone mat that comes with the, uh, the kit. I think it'll have a lot of uses and one of the things they do in the demo video is show how you can make these transparent films with um, with the gel medium you let it dry on the silicone mat and they've included some things here that you would be able to put into the medium and it it dries clear and it just seems like a really cool mixed media uh, addition. So <clears throat> I know that the gel medium itself is 8.5 8 ounces. So I feel like this is a good value. See, it looks like it comes in kind of a clamshell packaging. Hopefully this won't be too noisy. It's 
and I gotta go for it. Okay. Boom. So here's the the medium itself. And I can see just looking into the clear part of the jar here that it is moving around, so it's a little lighter and more liquidy than like the typical gel medium. Comes with two gelatos, and I don't actually have any of the newer gelatos, so this is a new design to me. Um, one of them is called Iced Rose, so that looks like a pretty rose gold color. And the other one is iced coffee. So that looks like a shimmery kind of bronze color. Very pretty. And then it comes with this little spatula that is made out of silicone. And here is the silicone mat. And the inside of the mat looks to be about six by six inches. So it's kind of floppy like this. And then it kind of sits up a little bit like it has, um, but I'm sure if you put it on a flat surface, you can get really flat designs once the medium dries. And then it comes with a little instruction booklet and, um, Looks like it just kind of gives you a walkthrough of what is in the kit, some of the projects you can do. Some of the projects you can do with the kit. Sorry, my dog is... Okay. Kona, go sit down. Um, so this just looks really fun. And this, I'm not sure what this is. Let's open up this little packet. Oh, okay, so these are the little decoupage papers. They have a really nice, um, really soft texture to them. So they have some more kind of modern looking ones and then some that are more vintage. Oh, mm, that's pretty. So this looks like almost like a miniature piece of scrapbook paper. That's really pretty. And then they give you these little sampler packs of different little things you can put into your honey medium. So um, these are a type of clear bead and they expand in the honey medium. And then there are some mica flakes. So there's like a silver, gold, and then sort of an onyx black flake type thing. And then one cool thing they do at scrapbook.com when you actually go into the store is you get to pick out a sample. And so they'll have this basket at the front and you can usually get like a packet of paper or like a, you can pick out a stamp and I saw this really cute little stamp that said handmade in Georgia which um, if it had said handmade in Arizona I would have grabbed it but um, I picked out this graphic 45 stack of paper they just have some assorted papers in here from some of their past paper collection. So this one has By the Sea in it. And a couple of the other paper lines. So there's By the Sea. And of course they're double-sided. I always like Graphic 45's paper. I just love their 
their designs. This one has anchors and wheels and more anchors. This one's also part of the By the Sea collection. Really pretty with the shells. And there's one from the Precious Memories collection. So there's some cutouts here. Nice plaid background. And then this is Time to Flourish. So this would be really pretty for summer. That's really pretty. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice this one when I first looked through it. This is from an eerie tale. So this is a more of a Halloween harvest um, fall type paper. This one's from the Home Sweet Home collection. This is really cool. This would be great for junk journaling. Raining Cats and Dogs. And this one's Gilded Lily. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Time to Flourish. I believe this is, yeah, this is the last paper. So that's my haul today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.